Lesson 3 of Chapter 5 is about how to make multiplication and division stories. This connects the first and second lesson of the chapter. So, in essence, what we need to make sure that we remind our kids is that there are three different setups. Okay, number of groups, items per group, and total items. Okay, so if this is given, this is given, and this is unknown, this is a multiplication problem. In this section, it's not taught this way, but we need to start training our kids to be sufficient in trying to fill out these three. Um, it will help them in the next chapters. Okay, so number of groups, items per group, and total items, given, question mark, given. So in this case, since the total items are given, that means this will not be a division problem. So this is a similar thought process with the bar models of the last chapter. Okay, so finally, number of groups, items per group, and total items. If this is your question mark, those are given, then that means that too is a division problem. Okay, so in this lesson, what we're asked to do is to come up with stories that deal with multiplication and division, meaning equations that have multiplication and division. So we are on page 86, and on page 86, I've selected problem number one, letter A. So here, there are eight flower pots. Okay, each one has two flowers. Okay, so clearly, I'm not artistic. Okay, so number of groups, items per group, total items. So this is not required in the problem, but we want to train our kids to do this. So number of groups would be that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flower pots. Okay, the items per group would be the two flowers in there. And then when we do this, we just add. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, to sixteen. Okay, so what we're asked to do is to come up with multiplication and division equations. So which means one equation is 8 times 2, which is 16. Another equation would be 2 times 8, which is 16. The next equation will be 16 divided by 2 is 8, and 16 divided by 8 is 2. So all four equations are based on the identification of number of groups, items per group, and total items. Since there's no question marks, then that means we can come up with four equations for this problem. That concludes the last lesson of the chapter. See you in the next chapter.